Hey, have you ever wondered about the origin of the word Tunisia? I find that etymology fascinating, and I thought it might be interesting to explore the roots of the name. Absolutely. I've always been curious about the history behind country names. So, where do you think the name Tunisia comes from? Well, the name Tunisia has a rich and intricate etymology. It can be traced back to the ancient city of Carthage, which was a significant civilization in North Africa. The term Tunisia is believed to have originated from the Phoenician word Tunis, which means to lie down or to rest. This could be a reference to the sheltered nature of the Gulf of Tunis, where the ancient city of Carthage was located. That's fascinating. It's incredible how the ancient languages and cultures have influenced the names of modern countries. So, the Phoenicians played a crucial role in shaping the name Tunisia. I wonder how this name evolved over the centuries. Indeed, the Phoenicians were skilled seafarers and traders, and their influence spread across the Mediterranean. After the fall of Carthage, the region was conquered by various civilizations, including the Romans and Vandals. During the Arab Muslim expansion in the 7th century, the area that is now Tunisia came under Islamic rule. The Arabic language further influenced the local dialects and the name of the region. It's incredible to think about how the name underwent changes with each new civilization that came to power. I also read that the term Ifriqiya was used to refer to the region during the Islamic period. Do you know how this term is related to the modern name Tunisia? Yes, you're right. Ifriqiya was the Arabic name for the coastal region of North Africa, including present-day Tunisia. The term Ifriqiya itself has an interesting origin. It is derived from the Roman name for the region, Africa. The Romans used the name Africa to refer to the territory that included modern-day Tunisia, as well as parts of Algeria and Libya. Over time, Africa was arabized into Ifriqiya, which eventually became synonymous with the region we now know as Tunisia. That's a remarkable transformation of the name through various languages and cultures. It truly reflects the historical layers of the region. I'm also curious about the linguistic aspects of the name. How did the pronunciation and spelling of Tunisia evolve over time? The pronunciation and spelling of Tunisia have indeed evolved over centuries, influenced by different languages and dialects. In Arabic, the country is known as O superscript A, a hachek, a dagger, cubed, Tunis, which is derived from the ancient name Tunis. The French, who had a significant colonial presence in the region, referred to the country as Tunzi, which is the source of the modern English name Tunisia. Ah, I see. So, the French colonial period played a role in shaping the modern name used internationally. It's interesting how colonial powers often leave a lasting impact on the languages and identities of the countries they colonize. Absolutely. Colonialism has a profound influence on the culture, language, and even the names of the colonized territories. It's important to recognize these historical factors when studying the etymology of a place. The name Tunisia is a testament to the complex interplay of ancient civilizations, languages, and colonial histories that have shaped the region. I couldn't agree more. Studying the etymology of country names not only provides insight into linguistic evolution, but also offers a glimpse into the cultural and historical tapestry of the region. It's a fascinating journey through time and languages. Indeed, unraveling the etymology of a country's name is like uncovering hidden layers of history. It allows us to appreciate the diverse influences that have shaped the identity of a nation. The story of Tunisia showcases the resilience of languages and cultures, reminding us of the intricate connections that bind humanity together across centuries. Well said. It's a reminder of the interconnectedness of the world and how the past continues to echo in the present. Thank you for this enlightening discussion on the etymology of Tunisia. I've learned a lot, and I'm inspired to explore more about the names of other countries too. You're very welcome. I'm glad we could delve into this topic together. Exploring the origins of country names is a rewarding intellectual journey, and there are so many more fascinating stories waiting to be discovered. If you ever want to explore another etymological mystery, count me in.